Hyperpituitarism Definition Hyperpituitarism is defined as an excessive secretion or production of one or more of the hormones produced by the pituitary gland. Hyperpituitarism is a condition due to the primary hypersecretion of pituitary hormones. It typically results from a pituitary adenoma. Types The four most common types of hyperpituitarism are prolactinoma, corticotropinoma, Cushing's disease, somatotropinoma, gigantism, and thyrotropinoma. Causes Benign tumors are the most frequent cause of an overactive pituitary. Generally it is not known why these tumors occur. Depending on which types of cells are affected, the pituitary gland will start to secrete excessive amounts of one or two hormones. In some cases, pituitary tumors may result from an inherited condition known as multiple endocrine neoplasia type 1, MEN1. This disorder also causes benign tumors of the pancreas and parathyroid glands. In rare cases, a cancerous tumor or a disorder of the hypothalamus may be the underlying cause. Sign and Symptoms The symptoms of hyperpituitarism vary based on the condition it causes. Symptoms of Cushing syndrome ACTH, may include the following. Excess upper body fat. Unusual amount of facial hair on women. Easy bruising. Bones easily broken or fragile. Abdominal stretch marks that are purple or pink. Symptoms of gigantism or acromegaly, GH, may include the following. Hands and feet that grow larger. Enlarged or unusually prominent facial features. Skin tags. Body odor and excessive sweating. Weakness. Husky sounding voice. Headaches. Enlarged tongue. Joint pain and limited movement. Barrel chest. Irregular periods. Erectile dysfunction. Symptoms of galactoria or prolactinoma, prolactin, may include the following. Tender breasts in women. Breasts that begin to produce milk in women who are not pregnant and rarely in men. Reproductive dysfunctions. Irregular periods or menstrual cycle stops. Infertility. Low sex drive. Erectile dysfunction. Low energy levels. Symptoms of hyperthyroidism, TSH, may include the following. Anxiety or nervousness. Rapid heart rate. Irregular heartbeats. Exhaustion. Muscle weakness. Loss of weight. Diagnostic evaluation. The doctor will ask client about his medical history and any symptoms he is having. Doctor may order laboratory tests to measure the levels of hormones in blood or urine. Various diagnostic tests will be performed depending on the underlying disorder that may be present. If a prolactinoma is suspected, tests will be performed to measure prolactin levels in the blood. Hypothyroidism, an underactive thyroid, can also cause elevated prolactin levels, so tests should be done to rule out this possibility. In the case of acromegaly, blood levels of growth hormone are usually elevated. GH levels can change over time because the pituitary gland secretes the hormone in spurts. Often an oral glucose tolerance test is performed to diagnose acromegaly. Healthy people experience a drop in blood GH levels after drinking glucose, unlike people with acromegaly. In the case of Cushing's syndrome, tests may be ordered to rule out other causes, such as a tumor on the adrenal gland or the use of glucocorticoid drugs. Other tests include the high-dose dexamethasone suppression test and specialized blood sampling, in which a blood sample is taken from the veins of the sinuses that drain blood from the pituitary gland. If laboratory diagnostic tests suggest that a tumor is present, radiologic imaging tests will be performed to determine the size and location of the tumor. Usually magnetic resonance imaging MRI, is more sensitive in this case than a computerized tomography CAT, scan. CAT scans may be used with patients who cannot undergo MRI, such as those with pacemakers or other implants. Management the treatment will depend on the underlying cause. Surgery, a procedure called a transphenoidal adnectomy is usually recommended for patients with acromegaly or Cushing's disease. 
The surgeon makes a small incision through the nose or upper lip to reach the pituitary and remove the tumor. Although this procedure is very delicate, it has a success rate higher than 80% when performed by experienced surgeons. Transphenoidal surgery is most effective for small tumors, under 10 mm in diameter. Potential drawbacks include long-term dependence on pituitary hormone replacement therapy and cerebrospinal fluid leakage. Medication Drugs may be used to shrink large tumors before surgery or in cases where surgery is not an option. Medication to reduce prolactin levels is usually the preferred treatment for patients with a prolactinoma. Patients with acromegaly may be treated with drugs used to lower growth hormone levels and shrink tumors. Radiation Radiation may be used to treat patients who cannot undergo surgery or who have some residual tumor tissue after surgery and do not respond to medication. There are two approaches to radiation, conventional and stereotactic therapies. Conventional radiation therapy is administered in small doses over a period of 4 to 6 weeks. One drawback is that radiation treatments can damage normal tissue surrounding the tumor. Stereotactic therapy provides a high-dose beam of radiation targeted at the tumor. It may be completed in one session, resulting in less damage to surrounding tissue. Most patients that undergo radiation treatment require hormone replacement therapy due to a gradual decline in the secretion of other pituitary hormones. Complications and Associated Conditions Hyperpituitarism can cause several different conditions. These conditions include the following. Cushing syndrome. Gigantism or acromegaly. Galactoria or prolactinoma. Hyperthyroidism. Complications of hyperpituitarism vary depending on what condition it causes. One possible complication following surgery to remove the tumor is that client may have an ongoing need to take hormone replacement therapy drugs. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.